Look. Seems he was some kind of shogunate big shot. No. But look at how he's been killed. Stabbed right in the throat. He's always handiwork if ever I saw it. His hideout must be close by. I'm sure of it. Probably that abandoned temple. Will you help me put a stop to Izo's madness? Yes, him. Seems he hasn't changed at all. I can't sit back and do nothing. Someone from my home has gone astray. Surely you understand. Isn't that why you're after the Demon Claw Samurai? Will you help me put a stop to Izo's madness? Let's wait until dark. He's sure to come crawling back to his hidey hole then. Look for his all. Take a look at this. A bullet. I don't know any enemy of the Shogunate who would use a pistol. This has to belong to Izo. I don't think he's here now. But if we wait long enough... <sighs> I've been thinking for a while. About what Master Shoin wanted us to do. Genzui and Izo both claim to have taken on Master Shoin's mantle. But, well, you know how that's turned out. But I haven't taken the same path as them. Why do you think that is? That's true. Genzui wouldn't listen when Shinsaku tried to warn him. And Izo never had any intention of listening to Katsu. There's some truth to that. Genzui and Izo thought Master Shoin's teachings were all that mattered. But all Master Shoin did was invite people to think for themselves. Those two ended up closing their minds to any other ideas. You might be right. When Genzui raised an army in Kyoto, he didn't have Katsura. And Izo, he's always been alone.
The true difference is that I've met people worth listening to, who've given me the chance to change and move forward. I'm lucky to have you and Katsu. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. If I hadn't met you in that cave in Yokohama, I might have ended up like he's on. <laughs> That's music to my ears. Now I'm ready for anything. I just can't imagine my life if we hadn't met. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyway, seems like he's all still isn't back. You should grab some sleep. I'll wake you when he comes. longer. How much more do I have to do this? I wonder, will it make me feel better to kill you? Sorry, I left you. <sighs> I wanted to be the one to settle things with Izo. And I really didn't want you to have to dirty your hands. But you had to step in and save the day anyway. I'm sorry, truly. It won't happen again. We're in this together, and I won't let you down. Let me bury Izo alone. I think it's what he would have wanted. You should head back first.
What the hell happened here? Looks like these men were still breathing pretty recently. This doesn't bode well for Katsura. We need to find him now. Right. I'll start over there. So much of the town has been burned down. So many homes. We're meant to be fighting for a better country, but this is anything but. Found you at last. Say your prayers, Zuma! One man against those summers! Let's do things up, shall we? That takes care of that. Now then, let's ask our friend here what that was about. Thank the stars. Glad it was you too who showed up. Katsura, I had a feeling that was you. What are you doing in that getter? The Choshu men feared the worst. I've been looking into the Shogunate's next moves, but I've let down my comrades by not being able to fight with them. Genzui especially. It wasn't for nothing though. I got my hands on some vital information. The Shogunate are going to send in a force to deal with Choshu soon. The Shogunate is making a move. Hmm. They're seizing their chance to take the Choshu out once and for all. Indeed. And they're expecting the Satsuma to provide the best part of the force. Them again? But weren't they planning to revolt against the government? Well, the Satsuma are making a show of compliance to the Shogunate which will spell the end of the Choshu. Any bright ideas? Hmm. You know, I've always wondered why the Choshu and Satsuma don't just make an alliance. You're the only ones with enough power to bring about change in this country. If you joined forces, you'd be unstoppable. You're not wrong. It would be incredible. Could it be done? But the Satsuma and Choshu are sworn enemies. We cannot simply form an alliance. That's right. While the Satsuma and Choshu fight, the West eats our country alive. Is that really what you want? <sighs> I see what you're saying. Then we should ride to Kyomizadera Temple. Takamori Saiko of the Satsuma should be there at present, as far as I'm aware. He's the commander of the Satsuma forces right now. If we can persuade him, this plan might have legs. Let's meet at Hyomizudera Temple!
Could I leave it to you too to broach the subject? I doubt he'll be in the mood to listen if an enemy like me shows up out of nowhere. No problem. We'll handle this. So, Saigo's in this temple, right? Ah, oh, that's right. The former chief priest of this place, Gesho, was said to be close with Saigo, and I hear today is the anniversary of his death. I was told by a geisha who was clients from Satsuma. Apparently, he met his end during the Ansai Purge, where he and Saiga were persecuted. <sighs> it won't be easy. But as long as you're sincere, and make him understand that it's all in the best interest of the country, he'll come around. Okay. Time to head inside. We'll get kicked out if we just rush in. Better to wait for the right moment. The grounds are pretty big, so we should prioritize locating Saigo. Let's get at it. I will make myself useful, I promise. Easy.
But he done.
Jojuin Temple.
よ上等だnever chose to begin this fight. That decision was the Shogunate's. Forget the Shogunate. I want to speak to you, not them. It was the Choshu who drew their swords first. And considering their behavior in Kyoto, how can we leave them be? Look, I understand Satsuma's perspective, mm. but... Have you thought about our future? What do you mean? Hmm. Change this country? You, what are you saying? Saigo, deep down, I know you agree with me. There are things Satsuma can only accomplish with Choshu by its side. You want us to march alongside our sworn enemies? I simply cannot see it. And yet it can be so. If we should will it. But first, I should apologize. I am sorry. I could not stop the conflict earlier. <gasps> Katsura of the Choshu? What are you wearing? Oh, ignore these filthy rags. I assure you, my aspirations remain unsullied. As my associates have said, we must put aside our differences. Even if it means moving heaven and earth, we must transform Japan. Katra, I... I hear you. I accept your proposal. Gesho, too, would have been glad to put an end to the bloodshed. 
Then it's settled. The Josho and Sazuma will join forces, and we shall be the ones to see it through. You know, I've heard that in the West you're meant to hold hands and shake them on occasions like this. Go on. Try it. Sego, I look forward to working with you. The pleasure is mine. Takamori Saigo, swayed by Ryoma, defies the Shogun's orders and calls off the Satsuma assault on the Choshu. This episode helps the Satsuma and Choshu draw closer, and they conclude an alliance aimed at overthrowing the Shogunate. Don't you remember what I told you back then? That I had a dream as big as the damn ocean! <laughs> this way. Okay, plan. Ah, this is a real mess. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> After being attacked at the Terada Inn, Ryoma Sakamoto took refuge amongst the Satsuma clan. Might not be so lucky next time. I'm going to have to leave things to you for now. I'm counting on you. Hmm. 